Hello, this is Will Martinez and I would like to show you a workaround that I've learned some time ago to open an application with administrator credentials. This workaround basically addresses uh, this common problem which is the fact that even though I'm logged in on my machine um, with a user that is an administrator, when I try to save to a specific location, a restricted location such as program files, and I say uh, uh, save, I get this notification telling me that you don't have permissions to save in this location and as usual it tries to redirect to my documents folder. Well I don't want that to happen. Um, a possible workaround would be going to your user account and obviously changing the user account control settings and moving it lower but really I don't want to do that. I want to leave it as the default. Um, another possibility that you may choose to use is right-clicking on the application and saying running, run as administrator, but basically what happens is every time you do that you get a, a, a pop-up telling you that you can uh, that you have to grant access to the program to make changes and I want to avoid that. So there is this other workaround which is based on the use of the task scheduler. So I'm going to open the task scheduler, go to the task scheduler library, right click and I'm going to create a new task. I'm going to call it my notepad. And I'm going to um, no, make you notice here that when you check this box run with highest privileges, basically what happens is the application is going to be running as administrator. I'm going to click on the actions and my action in this case is going to be running the notepad application which I just found, I say OK. Now one thing you may want to keep in mind is uh, click on the conditions tab and if you are running on a on a laptop and you're running on battery maybe you want to uh, make sure that you uncheck these um, two boxes because otherwise they may prevent the task from running. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to minimize my task scheduler. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go to my desk desktop and I'm going to create a new shortcut. Um, the shortcut asks me for the location of the item. In this case, I'm going to quickly go to my blog and highlight this command that um, I'm going to copy it. Basically, what, it, what we're doing is we're running the task scheduler executable and passing three arguments. We're saying run, run a specific task name, and you need to specify the name of the task. So I'm going to paste all that there because I'm not very good at typing. And I'm going to put my task name in here and I'm going to call it my notepad. And um, I'm going to click next and now I'm also going to call my shortcut my notepad. I'm going to click finish and just uh, for fun I'm going to click properties and I'm going to go to change icon and I'm going to pick something else uh, that is interesting, I don't know, maybe this. And now that I have my um, uh, shortcut, I'm going to test it. I'm going to double click on it and it opens notepad and I'm going to type something hello world and I'm going to say file save and I'm going to try to save it on my program files folder so I'm going to call my file hello and I'm going to click on save and I'm going to close it. Now let's see if in fact it's there. So I'm going to go to uh, C program files. I'm going to look for hello and there is my file. I hope this is useful to somebody out there and thank you very much for watching.